All right, so that's it. We went over virtually everything that is included in modern web development. We've covered from basic block building blocks of HTML tags to um, client side scripting to server side scripting to databases. And I just want to go over just a quick overview of what we've learned. So in the beginning we learned HTML and CSS. We learned the fundamentals, uh, the HTML tag syntax, um, how to create a basic document with the HTML and head body tags. Uh, then we added CSS to our HTML. First we did it inline and then we learned how to create an external style sheet and include that. Um, we worked with unordered lists and tables and talked about how tables should only be used for tabular data and not for website layout. Um, HTML forms, we looked at some of the CSS3 features uh, such as the rounded borders or rounded edges, um, the pseudo classes, and then we worked on a project which we brought all these technologies and, and skills together and created a nice simple HTML and CSS project. So in chapter 2 we talked about JavaScript and jQuery. We learned the fundamentals, um, basic programming in JavaScript, variables, arrays, loops. Um, we looked at if statements, if else, and switch statements. Um, JavaScript functions. We looked at the DOM or the document object model to see how a web page is actually built up. Um, JavaScript events and event handlers. Um, we looked at how we can run a function with a click or a mouse over. Um, and we also looked at jQuery events like click, blur, change. And then we created a project which implemented JavaScript for form validation and jQuery for simple animation. Then we talked about data and XML, JSON, as well as AJAX or asynchronous JavaScript. We learned the fundamentals of XML and JSON, uh, what they're used for. Uh, we compared the two. We looked at XML schemas like DTD. Uh, we learned how to loop through a JSON object or and a JSON array. Um, and then we moved on to AJAX and how we can fetch data without having to reload the page. Uh, we looked at the basic syntax of AJAX and the XML HTTP request object from the browser. So that object is how we can do this, how we can uh, send and retrieve data asynchronously. And we looked at the on ready state change, ready state and status properties of AJAX. Um, and we also, like I said, we fetch data asynchronously using AJAX. Then we looked at server side scripting, uh, particularly PHP. We learned the fundamentals and history. Uh, we set up our own XAMPP environment, which included a, an Apache server, uh, PHP, and MySQL. We learned basic programming, variables, loops, arrays, and I often compared the, the syntax to JavaScript, uh, and we looked at the differences in the two languages. Um, PHP functions. We learned how to include and require files and what the difference is. We learned a little bit of, it, of regular expressions and we also looked at object oriented PHP. And then we moved on to adding a MySQL database into the mix. Uh, MySQL fundamentals. We used the PHP MyAdmin tool which, which came with the XAMPP package and we ran some queries uh, to select. We did some CRUD, uh, create, read, update, and delete. We did that through PHP My Admin. And then we went on and established a connection in, in our PHP script um, using MySQLi. And then we also created some HTML forms 
and we inserted data into our database through the browser through the form uh, and then we looked at the object oriented methods of MySQLi um, there's procedural and object oriented and we looked at both and then finally we looked at PDO and prepared statements which is the most secure way to deal with a database through PHP finally we looked at some frameworks uh, we talked about what a framework is why use it what it does uh, we looked at the top five frameworks for PHP um, Yi, Code Igniter, Cake PHP, Zend, and Symphony. Uh, and we focused on the Yi framework uh, mostly because of the learning curve. It's pretty easy to learn uh, and it is one of, if not the most popular, PHP framework that's out there right now. And we installed and set up Yi on our local machine or on our XAMPP server. Uh, we created an app through Yik through in the command line and we looked at controllers and views and how they're set up and how they can communicate with each other how we can pass variables and information to the view from the controller uh, and then we looked at GI which is a generation tool and we generated controllers and views and we also generated um, models and CRUD we had we made it so that we could add staff to our application staff members uh, created a database for the, for the staff members um, and then we modified the site a little bit we created our own ye theme and installed that and styled the website a little better and we uh, ultimately created a small website for a tech company so that's that's it in a nutshell. Um, a lot of information. Uh, I'd suggest maybe watching the tutorials uh, a couple times just till you really get the hang of it. Uh, go to the reference sites, for instance, jQuery, um, PHP.net. All these sites have a lot of val valuable information. So that's it for this course. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. I hope you learned a lot. And I'll see you in the next series.